well, you know, it's disappointing. I this was what this is what I told this is what I told our guys. You know, um, we knew what we were going to get going into Oklahoma. Um, they were really reeling. They they uh, they had played three four games where they lost. They played a very very good schedule. They lost to Oregon and went on the road. Lost to Little Rock and then South Dakota State played without their big kid. And then South Florida, 16th in the country, rolls into town. We we knew we were going to get our best punch. And I told our kids, right now, we got 16 uh, conference games and another five non-conference games. Right outside of three teams, two teams, Connecticut and Ohio State, we're probably going to be favored in every one of our games. So we're going to get everybody's best punch. And I, I just think that, you know, there were times in that game, you're up seven, you're up nine with a veteran team on the road. That's why we scheduled the way we scheduled. And we didn't get the stops that we needed. And, uh, you know, last two games, it's been a little little uncharacteristic for us. Uh, the way that we've, we've had 19 fouls against GW and 24 against uh, Oklahoma, that's not us. So we get back to basics and get back to doing things uh, right. But I mean, upsets happen. I mean, look, Duke goes on the road and loses a BC on the men's side. It happens, it's part of our game, but, uh, no, but we didn't play our best basketball on either end of the floor for that to happen. Have you been given any indication of when Raider will be able to play? Well, we would hope Friday. That that is a plan. You know, the NCA. You, you know, the first the first allowable game that you're allowed to play is after final exams, the day right after finals. So that didn't happen for us. Do you know why that didn't happen? Uh, you know, we just have a different way of doing things than other institutions. That's all, you know, and that's all I can say. What does she bring to the table? Well, she can defend inside, outside. Uh, I mean, uh, Tamara, it, definitely we would have, it would have been great to have her. We got four guys with two fouls uh, in the second half. Oklahoma's a big team, an interior team, and, and we, got into, we got into those situations. You know, we're, we're hurt. Is Henshaw okay? Uh, both are big kids. Enjoy some of those things caught up to us. Smoke and mirrors, playing a small lineup. Uh, Leverett not playing against St. John's and GW. Well, some teams adjust, and we're lucky that that uh, Leverett got really got cleared to play uh, at Oklahoma uh, the day be, day before. But Henshaw has two fouls now. You're playing with Ferreira and Jesperson inside, so we're really thin in we're really thin in the post. You know, with uh, with Surratt, Surratt injured. And Dory Naj injured as well, so right now that's 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 a that's a critical position for us that that we're thin at that we we need bodies. I want to get back to the coaching uh, for for a second. When you're in season and particularly as you near conference play, when you recognize that maybe you're trending in the wrong direction, the, the opportunity to get get a hold of that before it continues. Well, you know, it, it's it's a lot of different things. You know, I think. Uh, no one hates to lose, of course, but for us, we got a veteran ball club and, and when things don't go well, this is a very tough time for 18 to 22 year olds during final exams, a lot of stress and everybody talks. I mean, I think it's all excuses. You know what I mean? They're getting, a, they're getting, a, they're getting an education. They're getting somewhere to live. We're paying for all their stuff. They got cost of attendance. They got one job to get a great education, to graduate, and to play basketball and be successful on the court. You know, that's all we ask them to do. So all the excuses about time and management and final exams and all this, these student athletes are very well taken care of now. I know it was in a loss, but is it still cool overall that you got that 1,000 points? Uh, I mean, it definitely feels less good doing it in a loss. Um, it's not something you think about doing the game. Of course, it's like it's always a nice accomplishment, uh, but uh, the loss is like what feels like yeah, feels the most right now. Talk about today's uh, practice. Obviously, Coach Fernandez wants to uh, address some things that he feels are, are not going as they should. Uh, the effort on the defensive end of the ball is that, in your estimation, what kind of what is causing the, the little bit of a slide or maybe the upset to Oklahoma? I definitely think we needed a practice like this. Um, we probably needed it uh, some weeks ago as well. Um, when, you, when you lose a game, you have to, like, you have to change things. You have to, uh, you may, the coach has to make a standpoint, like we have, to, we have to answer, you know. 
So I think we needed this practice now. We just have to do it again tomorrow and the day after, day after, and then go get some new wins. None of us have seen uh, Alyssa Rader playing a game yet. We've seen her in practice a little. What will she bring to this team when she becomes eligible? She will bring some physical, like she's a really physical player. Um, she has a great motor, um, great energy, um, can do a lot of things with the ball. So it's definitely going to benefit our team getting her back. Looks like she's pretty tough to move when she gets on the low block. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's definitely going to help us uh, inside and it's going to be great to get, get her to play. I'm sure you don't ever want to lose, but you said you needed a practice like this today. Do you almost think you needed a game like Oklahoma to lose to wake you guys up on the defensive side? I, I would never want to lose a game, uh, never. Um, but I think we, you can always like it. If you lose a game and you learn from it, sometimes it, it's beneficial. Um, so like that's what we have to do. We have to like learn from the game we lost here and uh, move forward to get where we want to be in the end of the season. Do you guys think you need to improve defensively? I do. We need to improve everywhere. Not defensively, offensively, everywhere. It's all about progress. Can you talk about the, oh, when you when you expend that much energy on the defensive end and, and generally you create opportunities offensively on the other end of the floor and uh, generally teams are recognized for how, how tough they play on the, on the defensive end of the floor? You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that. It all starts from defense, and lately we haven't been doing as well. We let people score too much, and of course we've scored as well, but not enough. And we need to get stops. That's why we're working hard. That's why we're back home and working on it so that it never happens again. We've barely seen Anna play in a USF uniform. Uh, what does she bring to this team and to this rotation? What's her skill set? Well, first of all, she's a great person, and then she's a great basketball player, and she has a lot of energy. She brings it day in, day out, and with everything she does, she can shoot the ball, she can create, she can defend, she can do all these kinds of things, and she's a really good hustle player. And I'm excited for her to get her own opportunities and to play and help us. She can, so she can play a multitude of spots? She can. She's a combo guard. She can play all the spots.